soul is a jewel, it's a gem with God. And uh, we need to go out into the treasures of the field and we need to go soul hunting, winning people to Jesus Christ, bringing them into the body of Christ and baptizing them and discipling them. As you see, that's the gold and the silver and the precious stones. And that's not wood, that's not hay, that's not stubble. The main thing, the primary thing, the thing that is most important to God and needs to always be the main thing is soul winning. This is Pastor James E. Nolan, and uh, I've been pastoring now for some 45 years. Anyway, God called me into the church planning ministry back in 1977 while I was a student at Pacific Coast Baptist Bible College. And after graduating in 1978, God moved in my heart to go to the state of Washington and begin planting our first church. After planting Bible Baptist Church in 1978, we organized there in Puyallup, Washington with about 39 members. Later, the church, over a period of 10 years, grew to about 600 in uh, regular attendance. Uh, we had a good staff of people helping us to bring it to that level. Brother Wayne Rose, Brother Gary Matheny, myself, and Brother Gary Randall and some other good men like Brother Dave Boyer uh, that are all on staff. And then uh, my son-in-law, John Knuff, working in the bus ministry. So it was then that God burned my heart to uh, start a work in Paul's boat. And Brother Matheny went over there and he began that uh, ministry. And that was back in about 1986. And he was there for about five years until God moved in his heart to go to Romania. While we were in Romania, Brother Matheny uh, was talking to me about uh, the burden that I had in planting another church in California. I was telling him about the Coachella Valley area. And he said, well, if God calls me to Romania, he can certainly call you to uh, Palm Springs. And so, as God began to move in my heart, eventually I surrendered to go to Palm Springs and there to begin a ministry here in the Coachella Valley. As we were surveying the area, God uh, put in my heart because we had no independent Baptist churches here in the Cathedral City area. In fact, they only had one Baptist church and they were only running just a handful of people, and that was way up in the Cove, nothing down here in the Panorama area. And so God began to burden my heart to begin a ministry here. And so eventually we organized the church in uh, April of 1998. And so we've been here now for all that time, going on 25 years, come up. Uh, for Sunday in April, and the church has had its ups and downs. And uh, after pastoring here for five years, I went back to the state of Washington. My son, Matthew, continued on with the work, and eventually he went to Washington, and 
then we had another young preacher from West Coast that came and pastored here for uh, a few years and then he uh, decided that God was calling him somewhere else so uh, by that time the church had dwindled down to about 12 people and we moved back down here for church planning in a place called Ukaipa. Somewhere around October of 2012 uh, that they called me and asked me if I'd be willing to take this work back. If not, they were going to disband it. We prayed about it. We ended up taking the work back, pastoring two works, both in Ukaipa and here, and eventually we merged the work there in Ukaipa with uh, Brother Witty, a young preacher out of uh, Faith Baptist Church in Wildemar. And uh, we settled down here with my son-in-law, John, and my daughter, Pamela, and all my grandchildren, rolled up our sleeves. And so today, from that 12 that was here in 2012, with the help of my family, my son-in-law, my daughter, Pamela, all of my grandchildren, well, all of them going out and handing out flyers and knocking doors, uh, well, we got it up now where we are averaging up close to 100 in attendance with about 140 people, uh, if we can get them all here at one service. This has been the most enjoyable place that I've ever pastored. I've, I've enjoyed pastoring wherever God has put me. I pastored Calvary Baptist Church in Roy, Washington for five years. And of course, Bible Baptist Church that I started in Puyallup. I was there for 20 years and uh, the Mountain View Baptist Church there in Ukaipa pastored that work for a year. But I have to say here at Bible Baptist Church, it's been a real joy. I think God has done something in the hearts of our people that's unusual. The people here seem to have a greater joy. They're just a, a really sweet spirit that I've not experienced anywhere else. By the grace of God, it'll continue that way and continue to grow. I have not in any way since I've been here have ever experienced any stress. Uh, it's always been uh, just a joy and a blessing to be pastoring this work. God has given us some great people, and I thank the Lord for that. So we do have a building program that we're looking forward one day to begin. We have right now 8.8 uh, .8 acres of land. It was originally 10 acres, but uh, there's an easement running through the side of it. And so uh, we just got an appraisal on that. It's valued at 600,000. And we're hoping to build on that. If not, we're looking for something that uh, may be turnkey. So we're celebrating our 25th anniversary with the hopes that this year may be the year that uh, we get into something much bigger because we certainly need it because we're running out of space here in this 2,600 square foot building for which we are grateful for because we've been here for 24 years. And God has been very good to, to allow us to have this facility. And that's about all I guess I need to say. And that was probably too long. <laughs>